All right, Halos, welcome back. How is everyone doing? We are back in Final Fantasy 16 here once again, of course. Uh, we just arrived in, let me double check, the Dalmekian Republic. Where are we again? Uh, this place is called Leitney's Cleft, or Letney's maybe? Uh, so yeah, let's continue on from the previous part here. Looks like Mikvabak Lod, if that's how you say that. Uh, search Central Rosaria for Mork and Weird. So what's this? Is it anything? Nope. Just a closed off area, that's fine. No worries. We do have uh, Jill back with us, of course, as well as obviously Torgal, our boy, our goodest boy, best boy. Besides Gaff. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. Hmm. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Fly Ambrosia. All right, let's get Ambrosia out so we can travel a little bit quicker. We're probably gonna encounter encounter some enemies here, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, looks like whatever those are enemies here. Uh, you know what? I will go ahead and dismount since I don't think we've actually. I don't believe we've actually fought these enemies before, so we'll go ahead and check it out real quick. Go. Nice. Three pinches of magic to ash. Not really the best loot, but uh, definitely something, I guess. Was there a chest here or anything? I don't believe so. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, let's continue on then. Oh, hello. Who are you so then? What do you think? That we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Really? as bad as that oh why there's trouble up ahead and too much of it for us to handle I take it there's danger on the road oh what about this fearsome looking fellow you think he'd be equal to the task oh, no doubt assuming he's willing to hear us out well met friend my brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Yeah, he's not wrong. I think uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Alright, uh, it could be a setup. I don't think it is, but, um, it seems like two birds with one stone kind I'm of thing. I'm sure I trust those two. Yeah. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. I agree. Surprising you lot! Well, well. We've got okay, we're already Yurama ultimating. These must be Fair our enough. bandits. Okay, we're, uh, making <laughs> Phoenix ultimating, ultimating as well. Respect, respect. 
Wrecked, buddy. Good. Wrecked. Good, buddy. Decent stagger damage, but we're not done yet. Oh, ouch. That hurt actually quite a bit. It's okay there. This guy's about to be dead lead anyway. No problem. We'll get him. Looks like we did maybe get some reinforcements for them now, but hey, we, we killed him. We're good. Looks like a mid animation <laughs> casting another ability already. Alright, uh, let's see. Decent little amount of uh, ability Next points there. With. Don't mind if I do. No. Where's that card? Hmm, indeed. Ugh. Kick. There's probably some stuff down the sides here, but I'm not really that worried about it, honestly. Let's just continue on for now. Oh, it is broken. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. I feel like I should worry about it a little bit, though. It's been a pleasure. Maybe not, though. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. For real. What if we want his help again next time? Seems kind of sus, if you ask me. <clears throat> but I mean, it is the end of the quest, so... Maybe. Oh, let's go. Level up. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Yes, yeah, definitely seems kind of sus to be honest, but um, we might be good. You've had your reward, and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. Wonder if there's anything else they would say. All right. Uh, either way, I don't want to delay the video too long, so let's go ahead and continue on our way. I don't see why not. I guess we'll just run for I now. I see the Dalmecs lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. <laughs> the fallen ruin should hold at least. Yeah, true. What is all this? The path thing? continues on the other side. Alrighty then. Is there anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Try to keep our sprint on. Oh, hello. These guys must be enemies. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they were cell swords and they were, they asked me to to fight the enemies. I guess they were outnumbered for sure. But um, hard to say. Maybe if they're cowards or what. Honestly, I'm not sure. Can't go through here, can we? I don't think so. But it almost looks like you could. If not for invisible walls, invisible barriers. Uh, Alright, let's continue once more. So this is Zemeckis. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here at these falls. Or so the legend goes. 
If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea, all shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? 
or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your Emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Boclab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Alright, sounds good. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue on a little bit here, but uh, I think we're probably going to wrap it up here in just a few minutes. So, yeah, just fair warning. But, yeah, let's, let's finish it out. Ooh, Niagara Falls? No, just kidding. Uh, a little bit of, like, a Sahara vibe going on here, it feels like. I guess not Sahara, necessarily, but, like, um... Oh, what do you call it? Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. Hello? No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Might as well go ahead and take out this thing. I wonder if it's a uh, special enemy or if it's just like a... Uh, one of the stronger random encounters, I guess, sort of. Okay, freaking wreck, buddy. Is he stuck or no no? I thought he was for a second. There we go, staggering, perfect. Nice. <clears throat> Do as much damage to him as we can while we can. There. There we go. Perfect. Not too shabby. Uh, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and continue on towards that direction. But it looks like there's like some some travelers. Um, what is it called? A mesa. Mesa biome, right? It's the one. All right. Ooh. Headed over to the crystalline dominion too, are you? Hello. There's good gil to be made there. Believe you me. Yeah. The minute I heard them bandits have blown up Drake's Fang, I packed up my store and pulled me boots on. And so did you, eh? We did have a plan to make me fortune with some baths down by the dollar mill in. But how can anybody sit back and relax in a land that ain't got a whiff of the crystal's blessing no more? And that's when it hit me. If you're looking for lucre, the Dominion's the place to be. Soon enough, half a storm will be headed there. If I can get in first and set up shop, I'll have a license to mint gill. 
The Guildmasters at Canva will be beggars by comparison. I'll be famous in all four quarters of Storm soon enough, and I'll have a fortune that'll make me ma and pa proud. Hmm, alright. Honestly, I thought he was gonna open up a little dialogue so we, we could trade or sell some stuff, but evidently not. The Republican Gate. I mean, we could probably check it out down there if we wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna kind of continue on for now. now. Good. I've had my fill of life and I'm magic. Uh, I think I'll just stay unmounted for a second here, but let's go ahead and end up in the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and take a look in here as well. I definitely do appreciate it. Let me jump off the edge. <laughs> Dang, that is very deep. This is really cool looking though, for sure. But yeah, without further ado, definitely uh, thank you guys for watching, and like I said, I'll catch you guys in that next episode. Alright, peace.